Have you ever wondered about Bobbi Brown's Jones Road Beauty? It's a clean beauty line geared towards mature women. Of course, any age can use it, but really we experienced an uproar last year with her What the Foundation, which is not a foundation at all. It's a tinted balm. And then her beautiful Miracle Balms, I used to hate because I didn't know how to put them on properly. And I was picking really light colors now that she comes out with pigmented colors. And then she just launched the most beautiful bronzer in Dusty Rose. So it's the perfect bronzer for women who've never been able to wear bronzer because it's so soft, but also it's got that rose tone to look like natural skin. And then let's not forget my number one mascara pick since last summer. I absolutely love this. If they could only make it in rich brown. Bobby Brown, I hope you're listening. So stay tuned today. We're going to do all Jones Road Beauty Spring Edition. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. Happy April Fool's Day. It is my 28th wedding anniversary. So we're going to go out and celebrate tonight. We have a gift certificate to a really nice restaurant in town. Um, I am Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I'm also a woman of 55. And yes, I did just have a lower facelift, but that does not erase the creepiness. It does not erase the sun damage. So um, I'm really happy with my lower facelift. I'm really happy with my neck. I'm going to do a three month update soon, but you know, I'm still I'm still left with some sun damage. I still have some creepiness. You know, I still have lines. Um, I just, you know, I still have the loose skin right here. My pockets aren't as big and saggy, but I still have that loose skin. So we're going to CO2 laser that at the end of the year. But that was always part of the plan. It's not like I'm trying to fix this, fix this. But I'm not chasing my tail. This was part of the plan, but you have to heal first. And you cannot get a CO2 laser in the summer. I'm going to the beach in May. I'm going to Hawaii in Jan uh, June, uh, September to take my mom's ashes. Anyway. I'm so glad you're here. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. You can always find that link in every description of every video I will ever do here on YouTube. I've created over 20 videos on mature technique using all different types of products and budgets because I'm real, I, I know these are tough times. So I'm super excited today to jump into Jones Road. Bobby Brown, I think it's safe to say, is a real woman's woman in that she came out in the 90s and did a very neutral, beautiful makeup. She taught women to enhance their features. <clears throat> Even younger women, mature women, we've all seen her on like Good Morning America where she would take a woman who doesn't really know what to do anymore in her 40s and makeup's not working the same and she would just show how to bring out their features but they still look like themselves and they just looked really fresh and beautiful so that's one thing i really love and respect about bobby brown is she's just always known her niche her style and you know she sold bobby brown cosmetics to estee lauder many many years ago and that just happens with a lot of big brands it just happens and what happens then is like she was under contract and she literally was preparing to launch her own company the minute that contract ended to um, not compete and so the minute that contract ended she came out with Jones Road. And this is now that she's in her, gosh, is Bobby Brown, she must be in her 60s because I'm 55. She's, yeah, she's in her 60s. She looks great. She's never admitted to having anything done, but judging by her, I don't know. I could be wrong. You know, when you have a lot of money in your 30s, 40s, 50s, you tend to age a little bit better because you have money for procedures and you have money for, um, facials and all the treatments. So I don't know, maybe she's never had surgery, but her neck looks like maybe she's had a little tuck. I don't know. What do I know? But it doesn't matter because I love her either way. It's just that she teaches women to work on their skin, really embrace who they are, and then um, use makeup just to kind of bring out your features. But you want to 
um, look like yourself and you want people to notice how beautiful you are and not how beautiful your makeup is. Like sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's okay to do a fancy eye and people to comment or a bright red lip and for people to comment. But for the most part, you want people to compliment how great you look um, and not specifically your makeup, right? So I did a whole video on this back in summer. This was very controversial on TikTok last year. Um, young women were using it and they didn't understand. It's called What the Foundation, WTF. It's a play on words. It's not actually a foundation. It's really skincare with a tint. And instead of coming in like a squeezy tube or like a, you know, instead of like a Maybelline BB cream, it's a thicker oily cream with tint in it. Now, is this for the oily woman? I don't know. I mean, I've seen some oily, oily mature women who love it. Um, I will tell you this, it requires zero skincare. We're gonna put it on right now, zero skincare, because it's got the skincare in it. And I'm normal to dry, and I never wear skincare under this. So today I put on a vitamin C serum, kind of waited a couple of minutes for it to absorb. I put on an SPF because I've already been out running errands today and that was hours ago and I'm still hydrated. Look, I still have a nice sheen. So we're going to go right in with this. One thing some women don't like, I don't mind it this at all, but you can see there's like, it's almost like natural peanut butter where you have to stir it and again, that does not bother me at all, but some women don't like that. So I just take, um, you know, I just take a thin brush and I just kind of remix it. I just, I don't mind it. I really don't mind that. I love the smell. Some people can't stand the smell. I love it. This is considered clean beauty for all of you who had been following me since my clean beauty babe days. This is considered clean beauty, okay? And so there, the fragrance is completely natural. It's almost like, I don't know, is it fruity? It's maybe fruity floral. I don't know what the fragrance is, but I love it. So I take a little bit on my hand. This is how I help clean the brush off. And then I put it over here and wipe it off later. But I put it on just like skincare. And it's not meant to give heavy coverage. It's meant to even you out and just give you beautiful glowing skin okay and then i'll sometimes i'll dip a little bit more a little goes a long way it's better to put on too little than too much probably have a little too much on my forehead but i do like how that even me out and the color i use is is this light i think yeah, I think I'm light. Yeah, I'm light. Um, in the summer, there's one called um, beige. That would be my next color up, but I almost don't need it because I feel like this is a good color for me year round. It gives me a little bit more color um, in the winter and in the summer. All I have to do is bronze over it. Okay, and I take it a little bit under the eye too, because remember it is like a skincare. And just remember, it's a skincare with tint in it. Do not put skincare under this or your face will be literally sliding off. Um, and I use my hands just like you wouldn't use a brush or a beauty blender to put on your skincare. I don't recommend that for this either, okay? And I mean, I feel so beautiful in this. I feel like I go, I could go anywhere and get real close up to people and no one would know I had any makeup on because I don't, technically I don't have makeup on. It's what the foundation, but it's really a tinted balm. It's a tinted balm. And like I said, some oily women they love it. It's one of those things where you don't know till you try. Now, unfortunately, 
you can't get Jones Road in person in most stores. Um, I think they might have a store in New York, but you, you have to order it online. So save your receipt, save your box, save your packaging and ship it back if you don't like it. I ship things back all the time if I don't like it. Um, well, maybe not all the time, but I do ship things back if I don't like it. Okay, so I want you to see this close up and then I'm gonna look at it close up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have too much, too much on this side. This side's beautiful. I really need to shave my face. My forehead is beautiful and this side is beautiful. But this side, did you see, remember I put a little extra over here? Well, guess what? It's too much. That's okay. I just take my fingers and in a downward motion, how do I know I have too much? I can see it almost like not pilling. Pilling is not the word I would use, but it, it's, it just isn't laying flat. It looks almost like it has little crumbs. And now just by simply doing that, this side is smooth and perfect like this side, okay? So th this is why I like to demonstrate this is not a product you're gonna take out of the box and intuitively know how to use it. It took me a little bit of time. I did a couple of reviews on TikTok because I really liked it and I really thought it was a beautiful product for mature skin. And then they saw my video and they wanted to work with me. So they did, I did work with them on a campaign. I did. I worked with them on a campaign um, last summer for TikTok. I did a one minute Jones Road for TikTok. And um, so they sent me PR. And I'm so happy they do because I love it. Okay, so what I wanna do is, as far as I know, they do not make a loose powder, as far as I know. I've, they've never sent me one and I've never looked on their website. So I'm gonna take my Say Beauty because I do wanna set it in, in some areas because I'm gonna use their new bronzer and their new bronzer is very pretty. Um, for those of you who don't think you can wear bronzer, this bronzer you're going to be able to wear because it's rosy. It's the prettiest rosy bronzer. And I got so excited when they sent it to me. So anywhere I'm going to put bronzer, I'm putting a little bit of the Say Air Set. Um, just so I'm taking down any of the tackiness. And if you are more combo skin, Oh, I like to go with, I take powder in my eyebrows too because I'm going to use some crayon there. Now, I'm not sure if Bobbi Brown has a, a brow pencil in her line. She probably does, but um, I don't currently own it. So do you see how now my skin is not as shiny, but it has a beautiful sheen? So you can put powder over that. Um, but I want to do my eyebrows real, real quick. Real quick, I'm just going for super natural today. The Jones Road is a very natural look. And I've been telling you I'm going to do an everyday spring look. That's what today is, an everyday spring look using Jones Road. Because they just came out with a new miracle balm called Miami Beach. And I'm really excited to use this. And my friend Karen keeps saying... How's Miami Beach? How's Miami Beach? <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, Karen. I promise I'm getting to it. By the way, my friend Karen is leaving New York and moving to Florida and um, not Miami Beach, but she's moving to Florida. So if y'all could say a prayer for Karen that she has a safe move. It's been so hard. It's so hard to relocate. I did it at 44 years old with a four-year-old kid relocated from my hometown of Los Angeles and moved to North Carolina. That wasn't the craziest thing I'd ever done. Actually, joining television is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. That was like, I really joined the circus when I got into television. But I also found my people. I found my tribe. I found people that were 
cool, but like a little bit different, you know, kind of people who take risks and think out of the box and kind of like their life to change in the moment's notice and roll with the punches. And that was me. And so God knew exactly what he was doing, putting me in this crazy industry of Hollywood. By the way, a movie I worked on two years ago, um, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, comes out this month in April. And I worked on that. Um, I only did background. I'd sometimes help in some scenes with like lesser you know, actors and actresses that had really, really small parts. Um, when you are a day player, that's what it's called when you're hired freelance. When you are a day player, you um, just show up and you're mostly there to kind of keep an eye on the background because you're selling an era, an era of time. So everyone in the background, like you can't have tattoos. Tons of people did not have tattoos in the 60s and early 70s. You can't have like... Um, you know, the Justin Bieber hair, nobody had that look. Um, you know, women didn't have certain makeup that we do today. So we had to really like eagle eye everyone in the background. Sometimes there could be 100, 200 people and you'd have to really make sure everyone looked like they were in the era. And then you have to hand them blotter towels all day because they're out there sweating like crazy. Anyway, what was so exciting for me is that this was one of my favorite books in junior high because my mom didn't tell me a whole lot about my period. No one did. The boomers didn't really tell us about sex and our period and all that. And so this book was huge. And then I went on to read other Judy Bloom books, which were kind of risque, but you learn a lot about sex by reading books um, that were geared to teenagers. And in hindsight, I was horrified that I read some of this, but Judy Bloom was a big deal. And she came to Charlotte and she was on the set most, most days. She has waited 50 years for this book to get made. So she was on set every day. And that was really exciting. That was really exciting. Okay. Um, going in with eyes, we're going to be really fast and easy. I'm going to do this darling little, it's a, it's called the just a sec eyeshadow. And look at this color. I'm not doing this today because this doesn't feel springtime, but if I was going out at night, this is so pretty. This one is called pewter kind of like a warm, warm gray. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. But see how it's very champagne, but the, depending on how you move, there's like multi-dimension because it can look dark and light at the same time. Really pretty. Um, I love that color. Maybe I'll wear that out for my dinner because you know I'm filming this days before my dinner okay so I'm going to take this beautiful peach I'm a peach girl I love peach I love gold and I'm going to go right on the eyelid these stay on well I put them on with my finger the gray one I don't it's a little deeper and I like a little bit more precision I don't do a lot of frost right now just because of my um, upper bluff I had done. You can see the you can see the scars. But I want to demonstrate how these products work with scars or not. So see how that's just like really pretty but very soft and subtle. Okay. Um I also love her eyeshadows. I love her eyeshadows. They are big and round and they're matte. So that's why I love this color. Mixed with that, just a sec, look how pretty that is. I'm a peach girl. Actually, now that more silver is coming in my hair, I'm I'm really kind of doing more cool tones and more neutrals, but my whole life I've been a sunny blonde and so peaches were always so pretty. And then this color is called, so this was called Peach. This is called The Best Eyeshadow. This is called 
peach nude. You could literally do that all over your eye. It's just so pretty. But I'm gonna go in now with Sienna um, because I really like this color. And let's see, let's use one of my new refer brushes. So today is not sponsored, but I do have to put sponsored because everything I'm using in this video, they sent me, including the refer brushes. Um, but here's the thing, they're not paying me to make a YouTube. Um, they don't even know I'm doing a YouTube. They always find out. Actually, they never, <laughs> they never find out because I feel like no one pays attention to YouTube. They're all on Instagram and TikTok. Um, but I really, you know, I love, I love YouTube. I think you're going to start seeing me more and more on here. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I mean, right there in mascara and we're done. How long will you have this shadow? Forever? And it goes on, like, I barely, you saw, I barely blended it. I barely had to blend this. But that's the brilliance of Bobbi Brown. She wants a user-friendly product. Although you might argue that mixing your skin balm like a natural peanut butter isn't really <laughs> user-friendly, but again, I don't mind it. Okay, so now that light shimmery color on my eyelid is just kind of in the center and on the inside because now I put the peach on the outside and the sienna in. the crease and the brow bone, okay? And this color would be so beautiful on blue and green eyes. It would really intensify blue and green eyes. I like it on my eyes because I have hazel. And so these type of colors really bring out the green. I love it, okay? So how easy is that right there? Now we have a eye pencil. This is her brown eye pencil. Ooh, it's really nice. I haven't used this in a long time, but y'all know how much I'm into brown. So we're gonna do just a brown eye pencil real quick. Nice. That's real nice. This is, yeah, it's literally just called brown. Is it coal? I don't think it is. It's not a coal pencil. Um, and then, you know, that the Jones Road mascara is my favorite in the world. I just absolutely love the Jones Road mascara. I love it. It's my favorite mascara. Now, sometimes I buy that myself and sometimes they send it to me because they know I'm obsessed. But let me tell you something. They need to make it in brown. Because you know how obsessed I am in brown. I just did a whole chocolate glam makeup the other night. So catch that YouTube if you haven't. Okay, so there are my eyes. Now, let's do the mascara. I love it. This mascara can go on natural if you're a natural girl but you already know that I'm not. Nothing natural about me. My tummy is being loud, so pardon. Okay. It's a curved brush. It's fat, chunky, and it really builds and lengthens. And if I wanna get closer to the base of the lash, I turn it backwards and use the top of the curve to kind of get in there. But this is the mascara that when I use it, people ask if I'm wearing fake lashes. It's just so good. And what I love about it is that Bobbi Brown does like more natural makeup. Um, so I'm so thankful that she made a mascara that can be this dramatic, but you could also put it on more sheer and light if you wanted. But, you know, I'm a Tammy Faye Baker girl at heart. You know, minus all the 
chunky balls all over the ends of my lashes and I do wash my lashes. I, I never go to bed without washing my face. I can count on one hand, I'm not exaggerating, I can count on pretty much one hand how many times I have not washed my face in 55 years. I am just a chronic face washer. I love it, but look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, my stomach's being loud, I'm so sorry. Do you hear that, Tate? Tate's over here. Okay, love it. If she made this in brown, I would literally fall off my feet. I would just go crazy. I am so addicted to brown mascara right now, but there's not a brown mascara I like as much as Jones Road. The YSL Lash Clash in Rich Brown, it's close. It's definitely close, but it doesn't give me the length and the drama that the Jones Road does. The Too Faced Chocolate's nice too, but I think I like the YSL better than the Too Faced Chocolate. Just speaking formula. Look, what? So pretty. Oh my gosh, I got it on my... See, this is what happens when you have long lashes. I got it up here. So you know that trick, right? Wait about a minute for it to dry. Otherwise, it'll smear. Take a mascara smooth, uh, spoolie. And go in and just flick it off. Comes right off. It won't even hurt your eye makeup. I used to teach people that in the 90s. They would be astounded. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Is that so pretty? That's her new bronzer. And it's, do you see how pink it is? This one is called Dusty Rose. It's the bronzer Dusty Rose. And look at this brush. This is, I mean, I could just sit and pet my face is what I could do with this brush. I love this brush. Woo! Do you see that? It's pigmented. <laughs> it. This is pigmented, okay? So we're gonna be careful. We're just gonna put on a little bit. And honestly, I could probably just use this bronzer because to me, it's almost like a bronzer and blush in one. This is the bronzer for the women who are maybe on the fair side and don't feel like, like they can wear a, a yellowy, orangey bronzer because it's too much, it's too artificial looking. But by putting a little bit of this like rose tone in it <laughs> <My nose. laughs> by putting a little bit of the rose tone in it it just is very flattering okay we gotta, gotta take a little bit off the nose i like a little bronzer on the nose but that was crazy okay i like that amount i like that amount okay if you are one of my um saint customers you could definitely use our bronzer brush, but this bronzer brush is sublime. I absolutely love it. Okay, so there you have it. That is the, the bronzer. I love it. Now, I'm even going to take the tiniest amount. And then we saw how pigmented it is, so we got to be careful, but I'm going to put it on the outside. You know, I always like to bring bronzer or blush into the outer eye because to me it gives it a cohesive matchy look okay i love it and then when i'm done with a bronzer that is um powdery i'll uh kind of pounce over it a little bit just to lift off any excess but also to kind of blend it in better okay and see now i'm more blended Love it. Okay, we're going to use a face pencil next. She does face pencils. Um, these are nice. I like my Demi better, but if you, if Demi didn't work for you, I don't know why it wouldn't, but if it didn't, or if you just 
don't want to do demi. You just would rather do traditional makeup. Um, she does have shade six, which is peach. I think the six is peach. Let's see. Yeah. And it can do some color correcting. And when I say you need very little, I'm not kidding here. See? That looks nice, right? See the purple and blue there? So this is a peach crayon. Now I will tell you this. I have, oh my gosh, my stomach's so loud. I have thrown this in my purse and used this. <sighs> Y'all, I need to go fix a factor meal. I've gotten so lazy the last six months that I do uh, factor meals instead of cooking. Okay, I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to lightly, ever so lightly, fan that out. But do you see it looks really nice? And it doesn't give um, a lot of texture like concealer does because it's a cream. It's a cream pencil. It's a really nice texture. I'm impressed. If I didn't have Demi, this would probably be what I would use most of the time in my life. She doesn't have a yellow to correct any red right now, but that, you know, she could change that. But I feel very good with that. Now, um, I also don't have any of her lip pencils, so I real quickly am just going to throw on the Anastasia Mocha because I want to show you. One of her lip products. Oh, I love these too. These are, what is this called? I can't read this, but I really like these. That is also a really pretty, um, I'm going to put this on. It's like a liquid eyeshadow, but it has like little tiny flecks of glitter, which you don't really notice too much in the light, but in the dim light, like nighttime dim light, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It just has this beautiful sparkle. Oh my gosh, I love that. See, you can get you can get more fancy with this makeup if you want. You really can. This isn't necessarily supernatural makeup, but if you wanted, you could just do the the WTF, the mascara and a miracle bomb. Okay, so let's do the miracle bomb because this is what everyone really wants to see. Oh, let me do my lips real quick. Um, I'm gonna do one called Gilded Rose. Is this a lip pencil? No, that's an eye pencil. Pretty. I'm gonna go kinda, oops. Holy moly. It tastes good. It's lightly minty. It's not strong. It's lightly minty. You know what else I love? They sometimes when you place an order, you get these really fun bags that are like paper, but they're that type of paper that you can't rip. How cute is that to throw into your purse? It's just a little lipstick and a face pencil. Okay, here we go. Miracle Bomb. Now, I didn't love the Miracle Bombs when they came out because they came out in really, really natural colors. But once they came out with Flushed, which was a beautiful pink, let's see if I have it. No. Oh, here it is. You can buy the Miracle Bombs in little sizes. They come in this big size. I'll show you the difference. The big size will take you literally a lifetime to use. I'm not kidding you. Okay, here we go. This is flushed. It is the prettiest pink. When they came out with this, I was like, 
now I like it because it has more pigment. The other ones were more sheer and I just felt like I was putting a sticky, just sticky on my face and my hair was sticking to it. But once they came out one, with ones that are more pigmented, I'm like, okay, here we go. Look at Miami Beach. Look at Miami Beach. No smell. Okay, so what, the, what she advises you to do is you have to break the seal. You have to break it. It's like got a kind of a hard top and you have to break the seal. To me, this is very much finger makeup. So if you don't like finger makeup, this is not the makeup line for you. But I am a girl from the 80s and I love finger makeup. I used fingers and applicators all through the 80s. We didn't even know what a good makeup brush was till the 90s. Okay? Love it. And Miracle Bomb can go on the lips too. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, and then I keep the Miracle Bomb in the apple of my cheek and I take it to the top of my cheek to give me that color, but I don't need it on the outside of my face. I have the bronzer for that. And this way it won't stick to my hair. Now it does dry down a little bit but that's Miami Beach. What do you think, Karen? Okay, so here is my, by the way, these are so nice. This brand is called Fable and Maine, and they make these beautiful tortoise shell clips for your hair, and they never leave like a dent in your hair, and they're thick. They're thick, they're really nice. Okay, let's see. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Jones Road Beauty. I love it. I absolutely love Jones Road Beauty. I'm going to take a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. I want a little bit of Miami Beach on the outer corner of my eye. You see that beautiful wet look? This is glazed donut makeup. So this is not, if you are, if you are oily or if you live in humidity, you might not like this. I love it. I would wear this on a hot summer day. I love it. Well done, Bobby Brown. Well done, Jones Road. Now let's get that mascara in, in a rich brown formula. Not black brown. We need it in rich brown. Okay. So I will put everything I use in description. You can click on the description and you can see all the products I used. Some of the things I use are in my Shop My. So you could always click my Shop My link. I know I have what the foundation in there. I'll put Miami Beach because that is so cute. So cute. Um, but I'll, but I always, always, always have the mascara on my shop, my shelf. I always have the Jones Road with the foundation because I love it. Uh, and I have the, um, uh, I think I have the flushed Miracle Bomb and now I have the, the Miami Beach. But isn't that cute? What do we think? Too shiny for you? Too sticky for you? I love it. I love it. Anyway, I hope you learned a lot today about Jones Road. Um, I've just been impressed with everything they have ever sent me, and it is top-notch, top quality. Also, these refer brushes that refer sent me, they're made in Japan, not China, Japan. Holy moly, excellent, excellent, excellent um, quality. Thank you, refer. I've never been able to use those. And so I've really been enjoying them. Um, so that's it for now. Happy April. And 
let me know what you want to do next week. Should we do Lashify? Those come tonight. I got the tracking. They come tonight. Should we do Lashify? We also have these fun things. These are um, no glue needed eyelash segments that you wear under your lashes, not on top. That's a video too sometime. But I, I don't know. I don't know. We might do Lashify next week. I haven't decided. We'll see. But anyway, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you want to see more mature beauty on YouTube, please subscribe. It not only helps grow my audience, but it tells YouTube that you are here for mature beauty content. And that just helps all of us here over 40, over 50, over 60, and yes, over 70. When I say over 40, I mean every age over 40 uh, until the grave. So I hope this helped. Remember, it works best with no skincare under it unless you are incredibly dry. Then you could probably use a light moisturizer, but look at that. Does it look like I need skincare? No. <laughs> no, it's very, it's very nice. And you can powder. Don't be scared. You can powder. Best place to powder for me is next to the nose, but I still want to be super glazed here and here, but I always do near the nose and I always do the center of the forehead. So if you always powder right here and the sides of the nose and a little bit on the chin, then you're just glazed in the perfect areas but you won't look greasy. It will never look like greasy oil because you know, it's not, you're not, you're not shiny where the pores are. Anyway, bye for now. Tate says bye too.